One of the audience people mentioned that Medicare doesn't allow for a lot of the social support interventions that yeah. we've talked about that are so important. Would Medicare, what would Medicare for all do about this problem and wouldn't Medicaid for all be better? I haven't practiced clinically in the United States for a long time, and I'm a single payer supporter, a career long single payer supporter, because I don't see any uh, way to make a, a solvent system without having everybody in and nobody out. So I think I should let some of my fellow panelists um, um, talk about how to fix Medicare, which is a universal entitlement. That's a, that's a real advantage. I know they don't cover mental, dental, apparently don't cover support services. You know, I would say briefly having uh, worked for a couple of the health insurance companies that Medicare Advantage health plans have a lot of good things about them. I don't think that's the total solution though, but uh, it, it, it is one option that can, uh, uh, you know, more innovatively uh, look at um, how to get more value out of Medicare than the fee-for-service Medicare system that we're familiar with. Uh, Medicaid is so different from one state to another, depending on what the state legislature want, wants to do with it. It's very progressive in some places like Massachusetts and very backward in places like Mississippi. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I'm, when, when I got to the Senate, uh, I had campaigned uh, for uh, Bernie Sanders when he was, uh, when he was in Congress, uh, when he was in the House. I had done a huge fundraiser for him in Burlington where I did a show. When I first got to the Senate, the first day I got there, I went up to Bernie and I said, I'm, you know, if you need me, I'm for single payer. Um, but we're 58 votes short. So I <laughs> said, we got with the ACA and I still believe that we can build on that. And if you do Medicaid expansion, then people essentially, and not just Medicaid expand, if you do, uh, if people can opt in to Medicaid mm -hmm. uh, and it works, or you Medicaid, Medicare, then uh, if, if it works better for people, then everyone will do it. And as I say, every other country, every other developed country has a, a, a mixed system, even even Great Britain, you can get, uh, it was just socialized medicine, you can get insurance, uh, supplemental insurance, and every co other country has different models. So I'm, the, the uh, we, Joe Lieberman prevented us uh, from the public option and uh, we need, we had 60 votes, and so you needed every one of us to agree to things, and we wanted the public option, and Joe nixed it, and that's a shame. But I think that's the first thing we need to do is, is have a public option so people can get into that, and then uh, if they discover that they're getting, that they prefer that to their private insurance, then people will, will gravitate toward it. And then that's what we'll do. 70% of Canadians get some kind of supplemental uh, private insurance. So I just, I'm, I'm, again, I'm for single payer, but also there are a lot of, countries in the world that have developed countries that have single payer, but also have access to private insurance as well.